617 in this morning's Money Watch, U.S. hotels suffered the worst year ever with nearly zero profit. Yeah, and weekly job loss claims will be released this morning. Jane King is live in New York with the Thursday. Well, it looks as though we might have been losing Jane this morning. Oh, we got her back. <laughs> Things change quick here on the Morning News. Jane King here with your Thursday morning business report. Good morning. Thanks, Ted, Margaret Ann. Okay, another 935,000 Americans likely filed for unemployment claims last week. Initial claims reached a five-month high the week before that. So the holidays and the increase in COVID cases leading to more weekly unemployment claims that we've seen in the past uh, month or so. Well, U.S. hotels recorded the lowest occupancy rates on record last year. The pandemic, of course, kept travelers at home and ate up the industry profits. Hotel occupancy was just 44% for the year that was down from 66% in 2019. It was the lowest on record. That's according to the data provider STR. The industry passed a billion unsold rooms for the first time in history and the it likely showed nearly zero profits for 2020. Well, meanwhile, banks say they're seeing strong demand for PPP loans. Applications opened last week for South Carolina businesses. Now, some banks say they're hearing a sense of urgency from the small businesses that are filing for these loans that have been hit by the pandemic. Well, the S&P 500 rallied to a record close yesterday, so it has gained 14% uh, on Inauguration Day from Election Day. So that streak broke a record set by President Hoover all the way back in 1928, according to Market Watch. Looks higher today, up about 30 points. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, certainly a lot to keep an eye on, but love okay. to see things in the green. Jane, thanks so much.